Finally tonight, we say goodbye to legendary journalist Morley Safer, who died today at age 84. The sad news comes just a week following the announcement of Safer's retirement, after spending five decades as a trusted presence in America's living rooms. Our Harry Smith takes a look back. I'm Morley. Morley Safer? Yes, himself. The Morley Safer, we knew best, was arguably the most gifted storyteller on television. People might find it very odd, but I really don't like being on television. It makes me uneasy. It is not natural to be talking to a piece of machinery, but the money's very good. During his decades on 60 Minutes, he wandered the world, enlightening us and often amusing himself. Part dazzling, part rocky horror show. But Safer also understood better than most that a journalist's first task is the truth. God damn it, we're in the middle of this job. Safer changed the way Americans viewed the Vietnam War when he showed U.S. Marines torching the thatched huts of civilians. This is what the war in Vietnam is all about. I'm standing in. East Germany. Years as a foreign correspondent followed. I'm Morley Safer. With the eventual move to 60 Minutes. We can wake it up for a second. He was at his best skewering sacred cows like modern art. It's a, a, a white rectangle. Right. Uh, he's a minimal artist. And. Uh... I would say so. <laughs> <laughs> and finding humor where there was none. The finished tango is not to be confused with the groin grinding, passionate. Latin American version. He loved wine and art and cars and shared that appreciation with frequency. Morley Safer set a standard few have been able to equal. Harry Smith, NBC News, New York. Our thoughts tonight with Morley's family and his work family, our friends at 60 Minutes.